Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to my research video essay for Intro to Media Studies with Dr. Strangelove. Hi, my name is Sarah Clark. For my research video essay, I'm going to go through my answers for each of the questions, so let's jump right in. The main subject of my research project was to find out more about society and to discover my place in it. I found that in particular, my research project ended up looking at discrimination and the treatment of others. In class, we talked about many kinds of topics, but those that really had me engaged in thinking were the ones about human rights, especially when reflecting upon my own experiences in my life compared to others. This is how I realized that I am more privileged than I thought. Not to say I did not think I was not privileged, I just did not think about certain things to the extent that others have experienced them. An example of this would be financial or class discrimination. As I've said in my field reports, I come from a family where both of my parents are happily married and my mom and dad have steady jobs. We do not have a fancy lifestyle. My parents do not drive BMWs. They do not buy me a Mercedes when I turn 16. We do not live in a $3 million mansion and spend our weekends at our chalet in Muskoka. But in contrast, we are also not struggling. My parents drive a Ford Escape and a Honda CRV, both very basic cars, and I drive one of my parents' cars when I need to and pay for my own insurance. We live in a modest suburban home in a safe neighborhood, and we typically spend our weekends relaxing around the house. Sometimes we go up to my cottage, which has been in our family for over 60 years, and is by no means fancy. I would classify this as living a pretty average life. My parents provide for me, they keep a roof over my head, and have never made me feel unsafe for any reason in my own home. For this reason, I neglected to truly see what it was like for those who live differently than I do, and I do not mean those who live in the upper class. I like to believe I am a humble person and never judge anyone based on where they come from, but I never thought about the discrimination that comes with those who live in a lower class family. In my field reports, I never talked about struggling with financial discrimination, bullying, or sexual harassment, and it sat deeper with me after realizing that I am a part of my minority because I've never dealt with those. How messed up is it that not being bullied, discriminated against, or sexually harassed means that I am a minority? More people than not experience these things on a daily basis and are made to believe that it is just a normal day when they are mistreated. This is what I came to realize my research project became about, especially seeing that I could not connect to some of the lessons and field report questions when talking about these things, as I'm sure that other students could. For question 1b, we have my biases. I'm a 19-year-old straight white female who was born in Canada. My family heritage consists mainly of Scottish and English descent, with Irish in the mix as well. Both my parents were also born in Canada and raised my sister and I under no specific religion. My mom believes in the Christian God, and my dad is an atheist. So growing up, I never really knew what to believe, as they never pushed any religion on us. As for my political beliefs, they lie more left of the center on the political spectrum. I fully believe in all basic human rights. I support the LGBTQ plus community. I believe that all people should have the right to be who they are with no judgment and that all people have the right to decide what they want to do with their bodies. Now on to question 1c. My field sites consisted of my bed, my bed, and my bed. I basically never leave my room. The odd time I would spice it up, for example, I once did a field report at my boyfriend's house and then another time I did another field report at a hotel room. Otherwise, I'm always doing my homework from the comfort of my bed. Now for question 1d. The context of my study was basically touched upon already. I gather my thoughts and ideas while I'm sitting on my bed in my room, working away on my MacBook Pro. Now on to question 1e. I collect my data through personal experiences, through Dr. Strange Love's lectures and posted articles, as well as the internet or social media. Now question 1f. I organized my data in paragraph form and had it laid out similarly to an essay or report. Basic, clean, and simple. Now for question 1g. My final coding chart was kind of messy, to be honest. I like to have everything neat, tidy, and even if possible. My coding chart was anything but that. Devices, people, companies, and platforms were all pacing each other as they were equal in the coding chart, but media, politics, and definitely feelings were the longer ones. Particularly feelings because that chart went on for four pages while everything else was one page long. What can I say? I have a lot of feelings. Now for question 1H. As mentioned above, I found that in my data, I did not have much to relate to. I've not experienced a whole lot, and that created some bias in my work and data as I personally firsthand could not connect to the questions or topic at hand. And finally, question 1i. My main findings in my analysis are that I live an overall privileged life, and that I'm lucky to not have experienced any of the issues that we discussed in class and that we hear about all the time in the news. 
I do not really put myself out there on social media. I stay quiet and reserved, much as I do in real life. I do not venture out to big cities or parties. I am into quieter settings with low stress. I'm not saying that by putting yourself out there and being vocal online or going to big cities and parties means that it's more acceptable to encounter these ill treatments because in no way is any form of discrimination, bullying, or harassment ever justifiable. I'm saying that I think that I have lowered the risk of it happening to me because I live in a more secluded lifestyle. This concludes my final research video essay for Intro to Media Studies with Dr. Strangelove. Thank you and bye for now.